Hello everyone and welcome at Peugeot. It's a pleasure to have you here at the Automotive Design Network. It's the heart of design at Peugeot. We are about to discover the new 308 and I guess just like me, you're looking forward to it. We just saw some details of the new 308 in the video. We've got a hint of what it will be and it definitely looks great. But before we get to discover it, let's have a chat with Linda Jackson, Peugeot CEO, about the car and what it represents for the brand. Hi Linda, thank you for having us here at Peugeot. It's been your home for what, a couple of months, right? Two months, two months, so I'm very new. <laughs> yeah, so new CEO, new logo, and now a new 308. Is it a new era at Peugeot? Yeah, it is. It's a, it is. You're absolutely right. It's a new era. And I think, you know, it needs to be because we live in a very complicated world. Um, we, our customers are demanding new things all the time and we need to reinvent ourselves. And it's, it's great because Peugeot in its DNA has that ability to be able to reinvent, uh, redo things, find new solutions, inventive ideas. So, yeah, it's a new era and it's exciting. <laughs> Well, what about the car? What impressed you most in this new 308? Yeah, I mean, I think two things for me, um, because first of all, when you first see the car, it's a very attractive car. It's very impactful design, very elegant, but at the same time, I actually find it quite racy as well. So it's, it's quite sporty. Um, but it's then when you get inside it, and that's when you really feel the whole ambience of Peugeot, with the eye cockpit, um, the eye connect, um, the, the whole feeling that you have that is a real pleasure to drive. And I suppose it's the combination of that that gives you a, what we, I believe, is a great package. But, you know, I'm biased. I love the car. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much, Linda. You've just talked about how important it is for an historical brand like Peugeot to reinvent itself constantly. Well, this time it is through the design of the 308. So now let's go and meet the man behind the design of the 308. Well, I'm actually in front of the dome. It's a very secret place. Not a lot of people are allowed in there usually. And today, I bring you in with me. I feel like whispering in this place. It's so amazing. It's very impressive. Here it is, finally. Hello, hello. Oops. Hello, Pierre Pot. I was just having a look at the car before you arrived, but since you're here and since you're the man behind this new beauty, let's unveil the new 308. Let's do it together. And we finally unveiled this new 308. Well, it's impressive. And from what I can see, it seems that the car has a stronger presence with bold proportions. Am I right? You're right, <laughs> definitely right. For this car, uh, we want to give it a more high-end proportions. That's why we have tilted the old cabin to the rear of the car by moving backwards by 10 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And then we've extended the visual uh, length of the hood uh, using what we call a, a soft nose to extend visually but keeping the repairability of this quite expensive part in uh, aluminium. It gives this very specific uh, balance. We also uh, moved down the um, top of the cabin by 2 cm and increased the wheelbase by 5.5 cm. That's good in design because it gives more elegance 
uh, to the car. It's also good for the room space, most especially at the rear uh, of the car. But to finalize the, the strength and the stance of the car, uh, we also had some muscles on this car. That is the key of the, the global stance of this car on its global high-end morphology. There is something special about this new 308. It's actually the first time we're going to see the brand new logo on the front grille of a Peugeot. So the brief was to dedicate the design to this new logo. That's why we had the idea to make this quite large grille, uh, covering the beam to make the beam of the car disappear behind the grille. So we had to move the license plate far from the grille on the beam at the bottom of the bumper. Unfortunately, most of the time, this area is dedicated to the radar sensor. So if we didn't want to put the radar close to the emblem to leave it alone in this big grille, the only solution was to put it behind the emblem. We've seen the front of the car. So now let's talk about the, the amazing work you've done on the headlamps and the rear lamps. Uh, the LED technology in terms uh, of uh, energy, the consumption of energy is lower than the classical uh, halogen uh, technology. So that was important for us uh, to, to use uh, this technology for the efficiency, but also to be able to design vo those very specific lamps. And uh, that's quite uh, impressive on the rear, but also on the front, because with the matrix LED that we use for the GT version, uh, we have the, uh, just a, a seven millimeters high uh, headlamps and that gives all the look and all the personality of the car. Well, we've seen the, the work that has been done on the exterior design. So move on to the inside design. I want to see what's inside. What is uh, specific to this one in the new 308 is that uh, you have two uh, big screens. The first one is in the cluster. Mm -hmm. It could also become a 3D screen uh, when you are uh, in the upper version. Uh, but also this uh, big 10 uh, inches uh, HD uh, touch screen here, uh, fully integrated in the global shape of the car. But the two main innovations of uh, this uh, high cockpit is uh, first the, uh, what we call the eye toggles here, uh, which is a, a fully uh, configurable uh, uh, panel. So it was obvious for us to integrate it next to the other one uh, with this thinning of an open book in the direction of the, the driver and the, uh, the passenger, as I said, fully integrated in, in the dashboard. The second innovation is what we've done on the console. We used what we call a, a zoning design. It means that we dedicate a very technical arch here to the driving commands, mm -hmm. dedicated to the driver, uh, extended to the, to the drop uh, charge zone for the telephone, disconnected from the storage area, then all the rest of the console, starting from the bottom of the dashboard until the end of the arm shelf for uh, harmless, for almost one uh, meter linear, uh, is fully dedicated to the, to the storage on practicability. Thank you so much, Pierre Paul. We still have a lot to discover about this new car. Agnès tesson Fagé is waiting for us. Hi Agnès, you're the brand project manager of this new 308. The car looks absolutely wonderful, but I guess the first thing you focus on when you design a new car is the customer expectation, what they dream about. What would be the answer to those dreams in the new 308? You're right, definitely. It has been such a huge challenge to replace the 308 everyone knows. So for the, from the very beginning, we've been carefully looking at customers' expectations and their purchasing motivations. First comes, obviously, exterior design. They want it dynamic and attractive. But very close, as our customers, as CH customers, are extremely demanding mm -hmm. and they are experts. They know all about cars and their performances. So what they expect from us is efficiency and technology, while quality, obviously, is a must-have. You've just talked about efficiency. Where would efficiency lie in this new 308? Efficiency is everywhere <laughs> in the new 308. First, aerodynamics, obviously, coming from the new design, exterior design. Then the new version of the EMP2 platform, which is lighter, safer, and enables a full electrified offer on the, this very particular silhouette. Beside the regular uh, thermic engines, 
the 1.2 liters PureTech and the 1.5 liters Blue HDI, we will be able to offer customers two versions of hybrid, 180 horsepower and 225 horsepower. Well, let's have a look at the inside of the car. The customer experience is fundamental. Nowadays, we want to have access to everything immediately. Is it what we're going to leave in the new 308? The eye cockpit of the new Peugeot 308 has been designed to feel instantly at ease. Starting with the new Peugeot Eye Connect, the new infotainment system. It is intuitive, just like you use it, just like you would use your smartphone. It is safe. Every information required by the driver is visible in the cluster. And it brings great features like natural voice recognition, wireless mirroring, or even connected navigation. And the epitome of all that is the new eye toggles. Mm -hmm. This secondary screen below the, the major one is the next step after the toggles you already know in the Peugeot 208 or 508. Each toggle is a digital shortcut to the central screen. A crucial point in the driving experience is the driving assistant system. What can we expect in the new 308? As an answer to the customer's expectations for safety and technology, the new 308 can be equipped with the latest generation of driver assist, including active cruise control, lane positioning assist, curve speed adaptation, and a semi-automatic lane change assist. On top of that, the new 308 will also include long-range blind spot detection and an improved video park assist with four cameras. When I think about Peugeot, what comes to my mind is the pleasure of driving. How big a pleasure is it going to be to drive this 308? Well, it is a Peugeot, right? <laughs> the dynamic behavior of the new 308 emphasizes the Peugeot touch and the driving pleasure with an incredible CO2 efficiency. With the new hybrid versions, we get 100% electric driving sensations with the tranquility of an hybrid. At the end of the day, I guess there is only one thing left. Let's drive it. Thank you so much, Agnès. There is only one thing missing now, driving this new 308. I guess you will all agree, it looks absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for your attention. Hope to see you again soon, and this time behind the wheel of the 308. Bye-bye.